hi loves and welcome to my channel and in today's video i will be doing my laundry room refresh as well as cleaning and organizing and just finding a home for everything you guys i have just been washing laundry folding laundry every single week and pretty much just you know working day to day and just trying to make sure I take care of all of my family needs. And by the end of the day, cleaning and organizing a laundry room is the last thing on my mind. Fun fact, I am actually washing clothes while I am recording, you guys. Look at all of that dust and just lint and things. I just, you know, need to get myself together and do some cleaning. As you can see, I have a complete comforter set that needs to be folded and put away. Um, I have plenty of trash, empty bottles on the floor. This right here is what the um, laundry room closet is looking like. It's just cleaning supplies and different laundry supplies just everywhere. So I am going to go ahead and take everything out of the closet and try to work to put these in a place where I would be able to find the items that I need instead of having to kind of search because I'm the type of person kind of out of sight, out of mind, and just kind of get my little life together. So if you want to see how I organize everything, um, just continue to watch. And here's just another overview of how everything looks. Now I'm going to be showing you guys everything I'm using. I picked up this cute little um, milk jar from my local Kroger for about $3.98. And these anchor glass pitchers came from Walmart for about $4. I kind of looked up because these were the last two that they had in stock, you guys. And I'll be using those for my fabric softener as well as my bleach. I also purchased these um, cute little um, canisters, glass canisters from Walmart. I have a couple of different sizes. Um, I want to say they're about $5 and they went up in price to about $10. And also I have this cute little spray bottle for um, deep down um, stains that I could put different solutions in as well. And I have my infamous labels that I use in my kitchen that I picked up from um, Amazon where I got 234 for about eight dollars and this um spin came from my bathroom accessory set what that i use to organize my bathroom in so i'm going to be using that somewhere in the closet And you guys know how I feel about my collapsible storage canvas bins. I love these, you guys. This is the color gray, and I love the little faux wood texture on the front of those. Absolutely love these. And these are the larger bins that I'll be using for different towels and um, things like that. I'm going to actually be using that size above um, the washer and dryer on that wire rack. And these bins right here are just the ones I had left over from when I organized my bathroom sink. And I picked up um, all three of these bins from my local Burlington Co. Factory store. Spaced out, spaced out, listen, listen out, spaced out. Spaced out, listen, listen out. Yeah. 
And for myself, whenever I am organizing, I kind of like to do trial and error. I'll see what fit, what works, and what doesn't. Sometimes I'll start over, but for the most part, I try to take my time so that um, I get everything to fit properly because I truly try to do a one and done, you guys. If you watch my previous videos, you know how I feel about my storage bags when it comes to organizing. The sparks that make us thrive You'll see In this bin, I'm just going to be adding my air freshener and just other miscellaneous items um, that I don't um, reach for on a daily basis. Listen, listen, oh. Space down, space down. Listen, listen, oh. All right, you guys, now my favorite part, time for the labels. I am so excited. I love doing this part. This right here makes me feel like I am nearing the finish line and I have accomplished half of what I've set out to do. And now I'm just about to take my glass um, canister jars and fill them up with items. I went ahead and just laid down a towel to kind of um, protect my um, washer while I added the different products as well as for easy cleanup so that the towel will kind of work to kind of catch whatever may spill or fall over. So the washing powder and getting it into the container was a complete fail. 
So I had to just kind of regroup and turn off the camera and come back on when I was almost done, you guys, because as you can see, it started to go everywhere. So right now I'm just going to put the um, floor, the grippers down on the floor to protect my floors from the different chemicals that I use to do laundry with until I'm able to find a um, rubber mat or either a piece of um, cute area rug or carpet to go in this area. Now I'm just going to clean up all of the trash that I have taken from out of the closet and different bottles and things that I have poured the um, different chemicals that I use to do laundry with away so that I can finally see what the floor is looking like.
guys, this is what my laundry room is currently looking like. I finally am able to see all of the space that I have. As you remember, I had stuff all up here on these wire racks. My hope is to eventually um, put cabinetry up here, but until then, I'm just going to be using these bins right here. Y'all know how I feel about my canvas um, bins from Walmart. So I have those. And um, on this side, you guys probably remember um, I had um, a confidence set hanging here for drying. So I removed that, put it up into the linen closet. And then my husband just hung this picture right here. I absolutely love this picture because it just kind of gives me like motivation and inspiration um to kind of get through my laundry because every week i have about seven loads of laundry to wash um so i absolutely love that picture and that was a purchase actually from my local burlington coat factory um right here i just have this um trash can that i picked stainless steel trash can that i picked up from home goods um my washer and dryer combo i absolutely absolutely love this washer and dryer combo it's lg and is um comes from i purchased it from best buy absolutely love it believe it or not while i was recording this video i was in the middle of doing laundry you guys so yeah um this plant right here I thought it would look really pretty because you guys remember before I had all of like my washing supplies and everything sitting on here. So I just paired it with this pretty um, orchid plant that I picked up from my local Burlington Coat Factory. Absolutely love it. It's stainless steel. It matches the washer and dryer as well as the trash can. And this basket was um, it's made by Nautica. I got it from Home Goods for $7.99, an absolute steal. So I just wanted to put a little greenery in here without taking up too much space. Um, I just love how airy it is and how much more space I have. Um, if you look down at this um, rug, I actually picked this runner rug up from my local Walmart store. I want to say I paid about $25 for this, but I love it. Um, just something, you know, to have in front of my feet while I'm in here working. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know why it's coming off a little bit dark on camera, but yeah. On this door, um, I just went ahead and I um, hung up this blessed um little wreath is something that i shot my home for because i'm truly blessed to have a um washroom the size that i have and everything that i do have in here because it was a point that i did not have any of this so i'm truly blessed so i just hung that on the back of there and now going to the closet um uh, before the closet it was a complete disaster it was just stuff everywhere and i just kind of wanted to make it more useful um of course um i would like to do some wooden shelves in here but until then i'm just gonna make do with what i have and yeah so let's kind of go through um as you can see over here in these containers i have like all of my wet ones here as well as like flushable wipes in the back so these are my hand wipes and this is a believe it or not you guys walmart they have these canvases for four i think they're like four for 98 now and it looks like wood on the outside you guys these are so nice and on the sides as you can see they're like canvas so i absolutely like this right here it looks more up to date and modern so in these canvases in this one right here i just have multi-purpose cleaners as well as air fresheners i have um clorox sanitizer wipes in here and just my disinfectant spray and i have even more disinfectant spray back there 
um, on this shelf. I just have all of my cleaners and everything because the kids, they clean up their bathrooms and their rooms. So it's easy access for them as well as if I have guests and they want to clean up um, like their area before they leave or just help with cleaning. All the supplies and everything they need are right here so they don't have to go searching and looking. And I kind of try to keep all of the sprays together, multi-purpose cleaners, sprays, and just other foam sprays right there. And then right here, I think this is one of my favorite parts. Like I have like this little, um, turntable and right here i just have um, my leftover sick beads in that one that i absolutely uh adore and also on this shelf um i have even more miniature hand sanitizer wipes like since i've organized and used containers i really feel like i have more room um to add more things to and um, on this shelf, this right here is normally what you use, like this fabric is normally what you would use to kind of protect your um, your cabinets or your, you know, your different drawers and things like that. But I thought it would be a good idea to lay here, being as though I have teenagers and they call themselves kind of trying to start um, doing their own laundry to a certain extent maybe if they only need like one or two pieces so they'll try to go in here so kind of to protect from spills and things like that i wanted to put this down and also i put this on here so that my rats will not bend as much so um i felt like this you know just for now would be good until we're able to go in and put wood shelving in um because the items on here is pretty heavy but i mean for now it'll work so this is an anchor glass that I picked up from Walmart for about $4. So I got both of these from Walmart for $4. And this jar right here, I actually picked up this milk jar from Kroger. And it's actually a milk jar, but I have my um, white vinegar in here for when I wash um, certain loads of clothes. I have my wool lint balls in here. And you guys, I promise I had about four to six of these. I only have two left. Where they are, I have no idea. So I just have those right there. And then in here, these are just my, um, I call them cookie jars, canisters, or whatever. I have my lunch powder, scent boosters, as well as my dryer sheets in there. And if you guys are wondering where I purchased the labels from, the labels actually came from Amazon. And I got over like 200 for about $8. Everything looks so good. And um, I did not want to hang my um, ironing board over the door because, you know, of course, I have my wreath there. So I was able to find like slide it over here in the corner. So it's kind of like out of the way. And in this cabinet, in this um, basket right here, um, I just have like my um, my dog supplies. I also have my uh, floor mop pads in here. These are the um, the stickers I use, you guys. If you are interested, I will make sure I link them in the um, description box below. But they are the Graceful Laundry Room Linen Closet and cleaning supply vinyl labels. So I got 234 for about $8. That was like an awesome, awesome deal. Also in here, I have um, like my, um, uh, what is it? My old cedar mop, um, mopping heads. And I have some extra hangers for whenever something needs to be air dried. So I just placed that in that basket right there. I absolutely love it and this right here is what i use for my um for my iron we don't use regular faucet water for the iron we actually use bottled water so that also keeps um like the little white marks from coming off on your clothes so i love that so this little area right here is for my iron i just have um a new box of swiffer dusters and back here, I have like um, an overflow of um, dryer sheets as well as my toilet one. And that's just an extra toilet one 
right there that I have right, you know, right there. Because I'm the type of person, if I have it, I know I have it. But if I don't see it, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. So to make sure I do see it and I use it and I don't buy more things, I love this. I love this flow. I'm lo I love that I'm able to see everything that I have, okay? Um, this right here is my Lowe's mop. I like to use this whenever I'm pressure washing um, my um, shower. And also I have more of these, um, more of these liner grips. So I picked these up from, I wanna say Burlington for $5.99. So if you're looking for a way to kind of save your floors and your cabinets and things like that, I highly suggest you pick these up. I have these installed all over my home. Also, this right here is just like an overflow. I also decided to put this on the floor as well to make sure I was protecting my floor. So I have that on the floor. And these products right here are actually already open. So I'll go ahead and I'll use all of these before I start using these up here. So um, just to protect the floor for now until I'm able to buy another carpet or um, rug to go right here, I'm just using the floor grip. And I think, you know, that's gonna help protect the floors as well as easy cleanup. All right, guys, so you all remember what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like now. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. Everything looks so good. Again, um, I purchased all of my glass containers um, with the exception of the milk jar from Walmart. The milk jar came from um, Kroger. These two plastic containers right here, they came from Burlington Coat Factory. And, you know, I love my canvas totes. Those right there came from Walmart as well. And this container came from Burlington. All right. So, I am actually loving my um, washroom, you guys. And if you like it, please let me know. If you have any questions about anything, also let me know. The picture I picked up from um, Burlington as well. And yeah, so that's the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.